What's up, Ken folk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Today, I want to tell you about which Sooner is an early favorite to win the 2018 Heisman. And all that's coming up after the bumper. If you're new to my channel or this is your first time here, consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time. All right. Bumper. Just snap the damn ball, RJ. So a few days after Baker Mayfield won the Heisman Trophy to become Oklahoma's sixth Heisman winner, ESPN's Alex Scarborough put out a list of folks he thought would be up for the Heisman Trophy in 2018. Now on his list are a couple names you might expect to see. One being Clemson quarterback Kelly Bryant, who quarterbacked Clemson into the college football playoff. He's a classic Clemson dual threat with more than 2,600 yards passing and 13 passing touchdowns and more than 600 yards rushing and 11 rushing touchdowns. He's got all the tools out there. I mean, quite honestly, he could be good. Another one was Alabama quarterback Jalen Hurts. While being an Alabama quarterback is not necessarily put you in a position to go, you know, throw for 4,000 yards because Nick Saban's conservative is all get out. We know this about Jalen Hurts. He's a winner. Heading into the college football playoff, he was 25-2 and two as a starter. We also know that he was the first freshman since Herschel Walker to win SEC Offensive Player of the Year. During his sophomore regular season, he passed for over 2,700 yards and 23 touchdowns. He turned the ball over just twice. On the defensive side of the ball, you see Houston defensive tackle Ed Oliver, who's coming off of an outlet trophy win that should have gone to Zeus, but that's another story. At 6'3", 290 pounds, Ed Oliver is a monster. And we've known he's a monster. For the past two years, he's picked up 135 five tackles, 37 and a half tackles for loss, and 10 and a half sacks. This in addition to 12 passes defended, five forced fumbles, and one blocked kick. Seriously, Ed Oliver could be the 2019 number one pick in the NFL draft if he keeps up what he's doing and stays healthy. However, Ed Oliver plays in a trash conference. I mean, they don't play anybody. That's, that's the knock. You don't really get to see him against NFL-level talent because NFL-level talent plays in the Big 12, ACC, SEC, and the Pac-12. I guess we could include the Big 10, but since the Big 10 is trash outside of Ohio State, I mean, you can put him in there. I'm not going to put him in there. Auburn quarterback Jared Stidham is also on the list. Now, this is chiefly because Jared Stidham runs Gus Malzahn's offense, and they've shown flashes of being able to just wreak havoc whenever they want to, if they want to, how they want to. Plus, Stidham completed 68.5% of his passes in 2017 along with 15 touchdowns and just three picks. If he can use his legs more often to pick up yardage and first downs and make plays, yeah, he could be in the conversation. Of course, Wisconsin running back Jonathan Taylor is probably also a guy that's headed for at least to New York. He was probably the best running back in 2017 that nobody ever heard of. At 5'11", 214, Jonathan Taylor rushed for 1,800 plus yards and 13 rushing touchdowns. Plus, he plays on a Wisconsin team that loves to run the football. They will give him opportunities to succeed. It's just going to be about whether or not he can take up those opportunities and do something worthwhile. Now, another guy to keep an eye on is out at Arizona. Khalil Tate, who had five games last season, 2017, where he had a combined rushing and passing 300-yard game, including 327 yards rushing against Colorado at the quarterback position. Now, we all know that running Rich Rod's offense is going to cut your passing numbers and your rushing numbers in half, and you're going to have to look at the total. But if Khalil Tate can make a run at the Pac-12 championship, I think, yeah, he's going to be in the Heisman conversation. Which leads me to our guy, Kyler Murray. Now, I don't want to get everybody too hyped. But Kyler Murray completed 85% of his 21 pass attempts in 2017, including one 87-yard pass to Marquise Hollywood Brown. And in his first play as a starter, as a Sooner, he took the ball 66 yards and nearly went to the house. There's also a bunch of us who have been yearning to see what Kyler Murray can do. We really want to know what he can do back there with the QB position because it's going to change the offense. The fact is, Baker Mayfield is an amazing quarterback. But what makes him so amazing is his ability to be accurate as a passer. Not just make things happen, but completing 71% of your passes, and we're not talking about dinking dumps. We're talking about balls that go over the moon and hit Hollywood in stride, that hit Michael Jones in stride, that squeeze in the windows to Mark Andrews. Kyler Murray is a guy you're going to run zone read with. You're going to use his legs to open up the pass, and then he's just that good as a passer. I don't know that he's Baker Mayfield good, but I don't know that he's going to have to be. So it's going to be really interesting to see how Kyler Murray stacks up in 2018. Now all of this is assuming that he wins the starting job in 2018 and at this particular juncture there's no reason to think that he wouldn't. Sorry Austin Kendall. But another reason why Kyler Murray should excite people and could make him a sleeper pick for the Heisman is that he returns so many weapons from this 2017 team. Yeah we're gonna break in a new left tackle but Grant Calcaterra has shown he can play tight end. Hollywood Brown comes back. CeeDee Lamb comes back. Michael Jones comes back. 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 You see the trend here? So with all these tools at his disposal 
I think that Kyler Murray and the offense are not only going to be just fine, I think they're going to set the world on fire again. All right, that's it for me. If you like the videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Deuces. <laughs>